Hello, in this video I will show you how to create Samba shared folder between your VM and your host, uh, host PC. So let's begin. First things first, we need to change some settings inside uh, our VM. So for that we need to power off our Manjaro VM and then change something. So let's power off our VM. Let's enter our uh, VirtualBox Manager, select our Manjaro VM and click Settings. Uh, we want to create this Samba shared uh, folder between our host and our VM to be visible only for those two. So for that we would like to use the Network tab and add second adapter. Set second network adapter. This adapter will be uh, host only. This means that this adapter will connect our uh, VM with our host. This adapter doesn't have access to the internet and anything else, but it has bidirectional connection between VM and a host. Also, we just need to change mode to allow all. And this is the default configuration. As you can see, it's attaching to the VirtualBox host only Ethernet adapter uh, number 3. That's all that we need to know for now. We should click OK and now if we have here host only adapter as second adapter, we are fine. So now we can click start. OK. And now when we are logged in, we should first establish that we have connection on our second adapter. We can see if we tap here that we don't have connection on wire connection 2 which is our second adapter and that's why let's check do we have assigned ap address with command apa and we can clearly see that we don't have assigned uh, ipv4 address but which address we should assign for that we need to enter our command panel inside Windows, go into the network, network and sharing center, change adapter settings. And here we have our VirtualBox host only network number 3. We need to check IP address of this network and assign uh, the second network adapter inside RVM to IP address from the same subnet. But how can we check the IP address of this one simply by uh, right click properties uh, select uh, internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 uh, properties and here we have our uh, IP address of course we can change this but for this demonstration it's uh, not necessary so, uh, so I would leave it as is click OK click close now we can go inside our Manjaro, click on networks, click on wired connection tool and right click configure. Select uh, wired connection tool and see we want to uh, restrict this to only the second network adapter and we would like to assign IP address to to that adapter. Uh, we should do that manually and we would like to add IP address from the same subnet so that means uh, 192.168.171 and we will give the last number as two. Mask is uh, applied automatically, and gateway will, will be the IP address of our host. And we are done. We should click apply, OK. Wire connection should now be active. And from our terminal, we could try to ping our host PC by simply typing ping 192. 8 1 7 1 1 we are pinging uh, 
our IP address of the uh, VirtualBox host only adapter number three. So this is uh, IP address of that adapter and pinging is running. Now let's try pinging in the other way. Let's ping from our host PC our VM. So open common prompt and type ping 192.168.171 and the last number is 2. Okay, so we established connection. Now we are going to the next step. Next step in creating a Samba shared folder between our uh, host and our VM is to check is Samba installed on our system. So, because we are on uh, Arch based distro, we will use command sudo pac pacman minus s Samba. Or minus ss sum input our password and as you can see we already have a uh, samba installed if you check configuration page or if you check manual page for samba and scroll down we can see that our sample configuration file is located here or in etc sample so let's check one of these files uh, uh, so let's check is one of these files existing Let's first, first open our text editor. And let's just copy and paste this location. So here now check for these files and we don't have third one either in this case the easiest way to get uh, default configuration samba config file is to simply type sudo minus s manjaro settings and Samba. And now we have our config file. So we can start configuring our Samba. Let's open our config file from our text editor. So open located in etc samba and config file ok so this is our default config file and now we'll modify this file a bit we need to remove this configuration because we don't want to share our home directories, we don't want to share the printers and so on. So we don't need this. The second thing, we need to change uh, our work group. Here we need to add our work group of our host PC. So how can we check that? Go to your host, 
plus start and just start typing uh, workgroup. And you will uh, get this best match, show which workgroup this PC is on. Click on it. And for in my case, I'm on this workgroup, BLN group. By default, workgroup is OK. But for my case, I need to change my workgroup to match this one. So let's do that. Change our workgroup. BLN group. Now we need to enable support for Windows. And we can do that by simply adding a couple of lines. And we can add them, for example, right here. So let's add these lines. So this is important for you to have this uh, win support set to yes. Next thing is uh, we want to assure that communication for Samba is done only on our host only uh, interface. So for that reason, I like to add uh, this section, uh, networking section, where uh, in which I would uh, like to specify the interface that I'm using for this uh, Samba communication. So in our case, our interface is uh, 192.168.171 and of course a uh, local host interface. And we would like to bind interface on. And that's pretty much it that we need to do on our global Samba settings. I think everything else here is okay. But here need to add our Samba shared. I have prepared this uh, short template and now we, would, we just need to update this template. So what we have here? First in these uh, brackets we need to uh, add the name of our Samba share. So in this case that will be and labs. We need to add the path to the shared folder. But first, let's create that folder. I will create the, fo uh, the uh, I will create the shared folder inside the home directory. So for that, I will uh, go to my home directory and simply magdir. Bln um, Bln Labs shared Bln Labs share CD Bln Labs share and I need to copy this lo location in here. So let's simply do that. I would like to have read and write uh, writes so. Uh, this folder will not be read only. Guest OK. This can be this can be set to no. Uh, browsable, yes. Create mask and everything and valid users. For this, I always like to add the user of uh, my Linux uh, virtual machine. So in this case, I would like to set VLAN labs as a valid user. So labs. And this is pretty much it. I can save this file, input my root password again, and I'm done with that for this file. Next, we need to assign our uh, Samba password to our user. We can do that simply by typing sudo samba password minus a and input our username. 
in this case VLAN maps. And now just uh, type first your root password and now enter your uh, desired Samba password. Repeat your Samba password and you are done. And now we just need to reset our Samba service and in uh, Manjaro we need to type sudo system installer restart remember and we can now just check the status of this one and we can see that our Samba is activated and running but before we try that let's reboot uh, our Manjaro VM once and now let's check our Samba server from localhost for that we need to open our file manager go to networks shared folder samba and here just type one two one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one slash vlan labs and we should get it this author authorization dialog we would like to use this password with our sample credentials that we created so here it will be vlan labs with the password that you created remember the password and this is it now we are inside our samba shared folder but from localhost let's try to create something let's create one folder this test folder and let's create text file check.txt and let's write something inside that file let's write bnnbox.com and let's scroll close everything First, let's check uh, is this uh, folder and file created inside our shared folder. So, instead of going into the networks, let's go into the home and let's check our PLN Labs share. So, as you can see, inside the PLN Labs share, we have our test folder and we have our uh, txt file with, with my blog domain. So this part is done. Now let's create the entry for Samba shared inside our windows. We can simply open our windows file manager, uh, right click on the networks and map network drive. First thing we need to assign the letter, uh, for this case let it be B and now we need to um, uh, type IP address of our Samba server. In this case, that's uh, 192.168.171 and 2 slash our Samba name. In this case, VLAN Labs. Uh, I would like reconnect at sign in, but for this case, I would like to use different credentials. By default, Windows will use your Windows credentials, which uh, is different than um, our Samba configuration. So, in this case, uh, we need to select this connect with different credentials and click finish. Now, we will be prompted to enter our credentials. So, here we will enter VLAN Labs and password uh, that we created for our Samba. And now, 
as you can see, we are inside our some shared folder. We map that folder so that we can easily access that from folder directly from our uh, from our PC. And now we have our shortcut in this PC, so we can just double click, and we are inside our Samba shared again. Let's try changing this txt file. So let's modify this uh, check txt file by adding my YouTube link and saving editing and checking it from uh, inside our and checking it from our VM. Go to our phone, open our checkdoc.txt and we have our link. So this is it how you can create some shared folder between your VM and your host PC. This is very useful thing when you would like to uh, run some programs directly from your shared folder because there there are some problems regarding shared folder when using uh, Oracle VirtualBox directly. And this is how you can avoid those problems. That's it and see you in the next video.